Xiaomi. I mean, these guys are at it once again, putting out another crazy value product. I mean, at SAC, we are trying to bring our audience the best value products across Asia that our global audience will find of interest. And Xiaomi keeps on putting out new product after new product. I mean, they just keep on delivering. We want to be finding all these Asian phones, Vivo, Oppo, Huawei, kind of finding the best value product on the market. And Xiaomi just keep on delivering. Now, we are introducing the Xiaomi Mi 8 Lite. Yes, this is the brand new youth version. And we're actually thinking about doing a little three part series because I'm filming on my Mi 8, just the regular edition, and doing one video on the Mi 8, one video on the Mi 8 Lite, and then maybe we'll get to a comparison video between the two if you guys are interested. We'll see. So anyways, bringing you the Mi 8 Lite. Now this is tremendous value for the specs under the hood. It's going for about $13.99 renminbi. That's just slightly over $200 USD. I mean, tremendous value. Let's get a little unboxing here. Let's just take off this box here. So first thing you get is this nice piece of cardboard. Just gonna open this up, see what we get in it. Right here you get a type C converter because there's no headphone jack in this. You also have a SIM card ejector. And it's nice they actually add in a nice silicone case. You can see in here. Black, beautiful. Throw that to the side. Here you actually have the device itself. And here you can see it comes with a quick charge 3.0. Also a type C charger. Beautiful. So we'll just throw those two things to the side. Now we're gonna rip off this plastic here. There we go. Oof. Get these side stickers out of here. Beautiful. So now this is the Deep Space Gray. Absolutely sexy look to it. Now you got the fingerprint reader on the back. Now this texture on the back will give off a little bit of fingerprints. I'm a big case guy, so it doesn't bother me so much. The weight is pretty good, nice and light, not too thick. Now we're just gonna pop open the SIM card tray. Go. Looks like it has two nano sims. There we go. Now let's boot up this guy. Here we have Mi UI 9. I'm assuming in the next update or in a future update it'll be upgraded to MIUI 10. Now looking at the screen, this is a 6.26 inch screen. The bezels on each side are slightly thicker than I want and the chin at the bottom is quite large. However, the notch up above is smaller than other notches we see in let's say the iPhone X or even the Mi 8. Now, the screen resolution is 1080 by 2280 pixels, 19 to 9 ratio, and 403 PPI density. Moving on, the specs under the hood for the Mi 8. It features a Snapdragon 660, which is a really solid chip. It has an OS of Android 8.1 Oreo. You can get it in 464, 664, or 6128, and it has a 3350 milliamp battery. Speaker test with the Mi 8 Lite, so I'm just going to play something. Now this is a single speaker on the bottom, as you can see. I mean, it's not going to blow you away this speaker, but it's not awful either. 
Moving on to the camera for the Mi 8 Lite, I thought it did a really fine job in well-lit situations. It has an AI mode which makes the colors pop in images, which I personally like. However, they give you the option to turn this off. Now for selfies, it does have a beauty mode, which you can boost all the way up to five. I think it gives me kind of big eyes though. Or you can just turn it off completely, which I'm gonna do. As for photos at night, it's not bad. I would have liked to see things stand out a little bit more in poorly lit situations, but for a budget phone, not bad. All right, here we are testing out the audio and video quality of the Mi 8 Lite. Now the front facing camera shoots with 24 megapixel camera and shoots 1080p with 30 frames per second. Now we're just gonna switch over to the back. Now on the back, you have a 12 megapixel camera plus a five megapixel. You also can shoot in 2160 at 30 frames per second or 1080p at 60 or 120 frames per second. Now looking at gaming, we're just here on PUBG, going into settings and looking at graphics. Now, this goes up to HD. When you try to go to HDR or Ultra HD, it says it's not compatible for this device. For frame rate, you can boost it up to high, which I don't mind just medium, because it doesn't burn through as much battery. Now it is pretty smooth. I think those settings are perfectly fine for PUBG. However, if you're a hardcore gamer, maybe you want to boost up a little more. So jumping out of the parachute here, flying around, pretty smooth. I'm just going to show you a little gunplay. Going to get this guy. Uh, the back of the phone while playing gets a little hot. But other than that, I'm going to get him. Here we go. All in all, the Mi 8 Lite is a very solid phone. It features a Snapdragon 660, which is perfect for the everyday user. Maybe not the hardcore gamer, but still really great chip. Now photos in highlight situations I thought were really good. Low light situations I wish were a little bit brighter. Things stand out a little bit more. Uh, but overall, this is tremendous value. It's only going for $200 USD, which is a really good budget phone on the market. Now, we at SAC Research are going to be bringing you guys the best smartphones in the Chinese market, also gadgets, tech products, etc. So like and subscribe to our channel to not miss the latest products we're going to be reviewing on SAC Research. Anyways, that's it for me. Talk to you guys later.